Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, in this video today, we're talking about uh, what, what appears to be in the current government um, a notion or sort of an underlying policy of generally making sort of legal and administrative reforms sort of within the framework and the infrastructure of the government. Um, it recently came to my attention via an article in the Nation newspaper, um, and this article is dated July 13th. Uh, the headline is Foreign Legal Expert Hired to Help with Law Reform. Leaving aside the fact that they, they apparently have brought in a foreign legal expert um, with respect to some of the higher uh, boards in the government to sort of look at possibly uh, reforming the legal system here sort of in a general way. Um, and apparently this gentleman uh, had some dealings in the past in helping to reform certain aspects of the South Korean government. Um, to quote directly from the article, uh, law reform is part of the government's critical reform effort and it is being addressed along with other critical sectors in the new charter. Um, quoting further, Buntun Sri Ta Sirot, uh, chair of the sub-panel working on structural reform, said the panel has addressed several laws that need to be reformed so that the country's fundamentals could be improved. Finally, to quote just a little bit more further, and this, is, this to me is the more interesting part here, uh, the Reform Preparation Committee has addressed seven bureaucratic reform agendas. They include the reform of concerned laws, bureaucratic, bureaucratic criteria for assessment, bureaucratic, bureaucratic personnel reform, bureaucratic efficiency, state budget and procurement, digital-based bureaucracy, and public service facilitation by the state. I recommend anybody who's interested in reading that article in full to check out the Nation uh, website. But that being said, what are this is important because they're fundamentally looking at the overarching infrastructure of the bureaucracy here in Thailand. And as we are in something of a transition period just sort of nationally in the country, it stands to reason that out of this transition period, we could see significant um, structural, legal, and administrative procedural changes um, emanating as a result of this um, reform effort. So it, it's interesting, it's worth bringing up because I think um, things are going to change relatively quickly isn't quite the right word, but qualitatively here in Thailand with respect to how administrative agencies function and how they do business and how they, they operate. It, it, we might even see certain aspects of this being brought online one of these days soon. Um, it's important because those looking to do business here in Thailand should be aware that when we're in sort of a state of transition like this, um, the old methodologies of getting things done from like a licensing and legal perspective are subject to change. And as a result, you can probably fairly logically assume that as a result of these changes, there could be certain frustrations and obstacles which come up as a result of even those operating within the bureaucracy, not really, at least in the beginning, understanding how all of this is going to shake out, how all of this is going to function. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that in the immediate aftermath of, of probable changes that will likely come about in the months and years following this announcement, I think it's fairly safe to assume that, you know, the legal avenues for getting things done here in Thailand may be subject to fairly fundamental change. 